hello hello all right it is time for another shop with me video today i am going to the venetian that was the next one that was requested that i check out i don't think i've ever been to this before at the venetian so i am driving there right now and uh there's a few things that i want to grab i need to get another dior powder because i have hit pretty significant pan in mine i was considering maybe grabbing um, another shade too. I'm not sure if I will yet thinking about it. I do also need the new Biosense, or not the new, I do need another Biosense SPF for my face because I did just use that up. It was in my last empties video. And then I have new equipment in my car, so hopefully my phone doesn't shake too bad, but I don't know. we'll see how it goes. This is my first time using the new stand. Um, the skincare by Hiram line, I'm wondering, or Selfless by Hiram, I'm wondering if it's in store. If it is, I'll probably grab like an item or two from that. Um, what else? That might be everything that's on my list right now. I feel like I just added something else to my loves list, but I can't remember now what it is. So I'll have to check when I get in the store. But that is what I am doing today. So let's head to Sephora. <laughs>
right, it is time for the actual haul portion of the video. Um, I just finished filming my Willow Buy It, so I still just have on the same outfit from Wednesday's Willow Buy It, this little two-piece from uh, Hot Chicks. But I want to show you what I got. What is with these bags? Like, did Sephora run out of Sephora bags? Why did they just keep... I mean, I can save these for, like, you know, the next birthday party I go to, I guess, but... It's kind of odd. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up from the Sephora at the Venetian. I hope you enjoyed the little vlog. Um, fun fact, I don't really know my way around Vegas all that well or the Strip. And so when someone said like, the Sephora, the Grand Canal shops at the Venetian, I was like, okay, got it. And so that's where I drove to and that's where I parked and I went in the Venetian and then I made my way to the Grand Canal shops and then I did three circles and I was like, this is odd. So then I looked at the thing, at the map, the directory, and I could not find, like I found Sephora and it was like 100 and I was like, perfect. And I went and I found everything. I found 102 and 113 and 179, no 100. I was like, where is this place? And then I kept wandering some more and finally I found a sign and it was like Sephora this way. And I was like, perfect. So it led me to an elevator and I was like, what? And so then it said, for Sephora, it said, take the elevator to casino level and make your way to the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Boulevard. And I was like, where is this? And so I <laughs> elevator to the casino. I followed my way outside. You had to go on like escalators. And then finally there was Sephora literally on Las Vegas Boulevard. I was like, okay. So I didn't know that. So it took me like 45 minutes to get to the Sephora on 4th of July. <laughs> There was so many people. I was like, oh my goodness. But we made it. We made it. So I'm going to show you what I got from Sephora. And then I also threw a couple items in here that I picked up recently from Target. So um, from Sephora, like I said, I did want to get a new um, powder of my Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. So I used the shade 3N for my face. And I have Hit Pan in mine, which I'm not shocked about. I literally use it every single day. I love this powder. So I have a fresh new powder ready to go for when, like, it's, good, it's just gonna be so crazy to see me use it all the way up. Like, I, my Charlotte Tilbury powder, I had a pretty big pan in it, and then it broke before I could actually use it all the way up. The Dior is gonna make that happen, and it's going to be very exciting. I thought about getting a lighter shade for setting my under eyes, but I just opened a brand new one of the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I just opened a brand new one and I was like, I feel like I've been spending quite a bit of money on makeup recently, which it's a part of my job. It's a part of what I do. Um, you know, it just is what it is. But I want to also be smart with my money at the same time. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't think that's like anything crazy to say. And I just feel like I've been buying a lot and buying some expensive items, especially with no sale. I've been going in store to buy them so I can do the vlogging. I'm not even getting like cash back or anything like that. So I'm like, ah. So I decided to talk myself out of that. And then I was gonna go for a darker shade and use it as a bronzer and see how it looked as a powder bronzer since it's just so blurring and so beautiful. But they didn't have every single shade in store and the two deeper shades that they had, I didn't think would work well on me as a bronzer. I felt they were probably each gonna be a little bit too dark for me to use as that. So I ended up just going with the 3N, just replacing the powder that I wanted. So. Um, it's so fun to see all of your tags of everybody grabbing the Dior powder. It really like makes my day every time I see another one. Still nothing from Dior, but I'm sure they'll reach out soon. They're probably just working on a really bomb contract. Is my guess. And then I said uh, that I also wanted to get another one of my, one of my favorite SPFs for my face. This is from Biosense. They're Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. So this is SPF 30. Um, so this is just one of my favorite sunscreens and I'm so happy that I now have another one because I've been trying out a different sunscreen because I used up both of my facial sunscreens and I'm pretty sure it is breaking me out like crazy. <laughs> like crazy. So that's been kind of a bummer. So super excited that I have this one back. Um, I think it's great. I've gone through like two or three now. I just keep buying it. Really happy with it. My skin really likes squalene so it's like it's all good there. Uh, and then another skincare product that I bought, I wanted to get something from the Selfless by Hiram brand, which was started uh, by Skincare by Hiram, uh, and then with the Inky List, and I really do like the Inky List also. So I was looking at all of the products, and when I talked about them in a Will I Buy It, I said that I didn't feel like with the first drop that a lot of the products are really geared towards my skin, which is fine because everyone's different. We all have different needs and wants, and 
and everything. Um, so I ended up just going with one product that I felt like I would actually use um, and that I was really the most interested in. So this is the Retinol and Rainbow Algae. This is a repair serum. Gently targets post-acne marks and hyperpigmentation. So I definitely do struggle with that. I had really, really bad hormonal acne for quite some time there, which was damaging in every single way. Um, but I definitely still have a lot of scarring, a lot of redness from that time. Um, so I really wanted to try this one out. So let's see, um, this one says, da, 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 a gentle, slow release retinol, nutrient rich rainbow algae and tranexamic acid work together overnight to help reduce the appearance of post acne marks and target hyperpigmentation. So you're supposed to use in the PM after cleansing and you use four to five drops every evening. So I'm very curious to try this out. I'm very curious to try out the line. Some of the other products, there was like a cleanser, but I just purchased a new cleanser actually from the Inky List, the Oat Cleansing Balm. You saw that in one of my last Shop With Me videos. Um, I know there was a couple different products with salicylic acid, which my face doesn't really love salicylic acid, so I didn't think that would be a good match for me either. But I wanted to go ahead and give this one a shot. I believe it was around $20. Let me check my receipt. Um, this one was... Oh, this one was $30, but I remember seeing like $24 and such, so I didn't think it was like too bad of a price, but um, I don't know, so we will go ahead and see. And this is what the actual product looks like, so you just have this little one here. Um, I like that it has like on the packaging, it has like the little moon to say this is for the PM. So very curious to try this out, you know, really excited for Hiram to see, um, to see this. I think it's such a cool thing, so I really wanted to grab at least something from the line. I did make a bit of an impulse purchase, but I had had in my mind that I wanted to get a new fragrance at some point. I really have never been a big perfume girl, and I actually left behind most of my perfumes in Iowa. You know, they're all in glass bottles. I just felt like all of them were gonna be kind of difficult to transport. So I really didn't bring a lot of fragrance with me. Um, I did purchase a pair of Chanel shoes when I was here, actually in February. And I had found a place and signed a lease and all of that, and I went with Michelle and Risa, and I bought a pair of Chanel shoes that. I wear pretty much every single weekend. I love them so much. Um, and it was kind of like a, my gift to myself for putting plans into motion. Um, I'll say that without crying because <laughs> all of a sudden I feel like I want to. So that was kind of like kind of to, to mark that that occasion. And when um, when we went to the store, they gave us all a full size bottle of Mademoiselle. I think it is. That's the fragrance that I just keep using and keep using and I love it. I'm so excited to have it, but I've kind of wanted to have something else, but I'm just really not a fragrance person. So it was in my mind, but I didn't even say it because I was like, I'm probably not going to buy it. I just don't really buy perfumes and they're expensive. But I walk into Sephora and the first person that starts talking to me is someone who works with this fragrance company. You know how people in Sephora, like that happened to me with Amika. Like it's, I, I don't think they're technically considered Sephora employees. They're like brand reps that are in Sephora and they're like, you should really try Amika. And I was like, sold. Well, this lady was like, you should really try Dolce & Gabbana Garden. And I was like, sold. So that is what I bought. I just did like the little travel size. I want to say this is like 20, was it $29? Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, $29. I didn't feel like that was bad because some of the, the larger ones, they were like really large. Um, but she sprayed a couple different ones for me and I was like, you know what, let's go ahead. I'm going to go with the garden one, you know, $29. I didn't think that was too bad. And I just kind of wanted to add another fragrance, especially just cause I actually do like see people here, especially just, you know, some nights at the complex. Like I'm filming this on Tuesday. We have Fiesta Tuesday. We get food and drinks here. So I'm going to go down and see people. So I'm like, you know what, nothing wrong with grabbing a little, Little fragrance, so this is the Garden from Dolce & Gabbana. I know nothing about fragrance. Mm, honestly, mm, mm, hold on. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, that just, oh, that just like made me happy. That just like perked me up. Oh, I love that. Um, let's see, I don't think it says anything on here of like notes or anything. Let me Google it so I can tell you. Okay, my phone is charging, but I pulled it up on the computer, so it says floral. Scent type, warm florals, keynotes. Uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. A flower, coconut essence, and yin yang. I, I, I don't know what any of those things are, but I really liked it. Does smell like fresh garden, and I feel like this size is good. Like, this is a good size for me. I feel like it's gonna take me a really long time to go through something like this, and 
yeah, she totally sold me on it. And then we talked about moving from the Midwest for like a solid seven minutes because she had moved from St. Louis. <laughs> So that was fun. So that's everything that I grabbed from Sephora. I definitely looked at quite a few other things. I thought about getting another Amika dry shampoo because I have been really liking it. Um, I thought about getting some, a few different vitamin C's. People had recommended both Biosans and also Pharmacy, and I really like both of those brands, but both their vitamin C's were really expensive. Once again, I just, if there's like the Sephora sale going on, I feel like I'm gonna really go ham during the next sale because there's quite a few things that I'm interested in right now. But once again, I do have the Murad vitamin C. It's what I've been using, and um, I'm, I'm like, you just need to use it up. Again, just trying to be you know, smart and everything. Um, there was, uh, I don't, I saw someone made a TikTok and she works at Chanel and she got some gratis and she was showing different things and there was like a serum. I was reading the comments and people were saying they really liked this serum from, or not Chanel, Dior. Wait, now I can't remember. It was either Chanel or Dior. You will have seen it in the vlog because I, I go over and I pick it up and I look at it and it was like some sort of youth serum or something along those lines but it was like $95 has anyone tried it or heard anything about it because I really haven't but then I saw people in the comments say that it was really good and I was like is it I mean I'm definitely not buying that unless there's a sale but I don't know. you'll have to let me know but there was a few other things I had my eye on and I'll just keep I'll just keep waiting. I really, this trip I really want it to be for my backups, the things that, are not backups, but things that I wanted to replace because I'm using them up or did use them up. Um, and kind of same with what I grabbed at Target here. So just got two products. I got a new Maybelline Sky High mascara, one of my favorite mascaras. You saw this in my last empties video. So wanted to grab another one of these. Also, you saw this in my last empties video from Bliss. Once again, just another facial SPF. I'm obviously trying to bathe in sunscreen every single day, every time I go outside my body, my hands, my feet, my ears, of course my face, all of the things. So I really also like Bliss. This one is a little bit tinted, whereas the Biosense is not, um, but they're both SPF 30. Again, I got this at Target, it's about $20. So yeah, had to stock up on both of those. And then that's it. So that's everything that I got my latest haul. Not a super huge one, but really just wanted to replace those few items that I had gone through. And um, yeah, just, just a few other things thrown in here also but i hope you enjoyed seeing another kind of vlogish style shop with me at sephora let me know where you would want me to go next um, because i will gladly go anywhere here in vegas uh, i think it's so much fun to do these types of videos so yeah just let me know where you would want to see next and i will happily get that done other than that that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video